Okay, so we are headed to Gatlinburg, Pigeon, Pigeon Forge, Forge area. Forge. <laughs> and I was just looking at my calendar and we are really close to being able to book our fast passes for our Disney trip. P.S. the kids aren't in the car so we can now talk even more openly about it. They don't care. They don't. <laughs> we're, we're planning on surprising them but I have a feeling they're just going to be like, well yeah, of course we're going. We've talked about this yeah. for the past eight weeks. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're thinking about what fast passes we're gonna need. So day one, we're gonna be at um, Mickey's Not So Scary. So I don't think um, we're gonna need any fast passes for that. I don't even know if we can use fast passes uh, for that. Let us know in the comments if you know. Our first official day at the park is going to be a Magic Kingdom day, I believe, right? No, is it? Is it? Galaxy's Edge, I think, the 20... The 29th? I think so. Okay. Yeah, and then we're going to do like... So there's no Fast Passes for that day, so we really only have like one day. Right, because we are going to the first day of Epcot Food and Wine Festival, which is super exciting. And we're going to try to go to the first day of Galaxy's Edge, which is super exciting. And I'm going to attempt to live stream it. So if you're not following us on Facebook, all the links are below in the description. So take a look, and um, if we're able to live stream, I will definitely do that. At like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I think Frozen Ever After... We would need a fast pass for yeah. that's one of those ones that kind of fills up and we're not too sure about jack's height i want to get his shoes that he's going to wear to the park um he's like right at 40 inches so we might just avoid it all together like yeah. soren he's big enough for pretty much everything else but soren i think he's a little too short for and i'd rather not be like that parent that's right. like oh put like, socks inside his shoes yeah so he's taller like dude yeah. stop Disney has those high restrictions for a reason. Right. Like, don't put your kid at risk for it. Or That's Disney at risk. crazy. So, anyway, we're, we're discussing fast passes, and apparently it's not that pressing of an issue because we're going to all of these special events. Yes. So. But if we decide to get a park hopper, we can go to other places. And That's we true. Need, but we can only do, I think it's three fast passes per day until you use the third one, and then you can go periodically throughout the rest of the day and add another one. Yeah. Like, if you use... Let's say we're going to the Magic Kingdom and we use one on Peter Pan and Pirates of the Caribbean and then Ronaldland Speedway or something like that. Right. And then I think you can go and you can do another one after all three of those. Okay. Or, you know, the mountains, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we might do Rider Switch for a couple. <laughs> yeah. I so what's Rider been... Switch? Okay, so <laughs> if I understand it correctly, correct me if I'm wrong. Rider switch is when a parent, like two people, two adults can go on the ride and one parent stays with the child while the other one rides and then the person comes back when they're done and then the other parent goes and rides. So it's a really cool way to not miss out on the ride that you want to go on because you have a child that's too small. Without and having to wait in line twice. Right. And it's my understanding that the rider switch area has um, like... Some, some of them, anyway, have places for the kids to, like, sit and relax and play and all that. That sounds um, <laughs> Right? I think the um, the Dumbo ride has a whole play area because the ride's, like, the wait was so long. So it's a really interactive queue, which is really smart on Disney's part. Um, I know with the Disney Play app, um, they're making queues way more interactive and entertaining. Right, with Peter Pan, I think you can do a whole lot of things. Like, you can see shadows move and stuff like that. Oh, like, it's very, that's neat. It's very cool. If you guys haven't, like, if you're Disney fans or you're going to Disney in the, the near future, if you haven't downloaded the Disney Play app, you really should because the trivia is so much fun. And the, it's hard. It's, it's not very like... very hard. It's not like, who is Walt's brother? It's like some serious stuff. Asking about which ride open first and what years and stuff i don't know yeah i thought i knew stuff i know i was like oh please disney mm -hmm. trivia i got this and then i got like one out of ten yeah. on one of the the quizzes oh, so. i had a streak going i got <laughs> 10, but lots of lucky guesses right every the, all, every answer is c <laughs> that's what i've heard False. <laughs> oh look they have like bounce houses in the church so, um, anyway, we're driving uh, to Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area, and we're taking you along. It is a beautiful, cool day in June. The high, I guess, is like 76 or 78, depending on where we go, which that's 
perfect. So stay tuned and if there's somewhere you want us to, to check around and take a tour of in the Gatlinburg area, let us know and we would love an excuse to go to Gatlinburg and check out some, some places for you. Let us know. Okay, so we made a pit stop to get some breakfast. Uh, I got a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Ryan got a Cajun chicken biscuit. Thanks, Bojangles. <laughs> Bojangles. Bojangles. But I wanted to show you how weird we are. So we sit here and watch Josh Hokum or Tim Tracker or DFB, DFB Guide. Or we will eat our food and watch our favorite YouTubers right here. And today we are watching the room tour of the Carnival Conquest. Carnival Conquest from Josh Hokum. So that's what we do when we stop and eat. Because we're so weird. And I don't care. It's what I like to do. I know. All right, we're going into our favorite restaurant at the island. Timberwood Grill. Timberwood Grill. We can't, yeah. I can never remember the There's name. A, it's above the bear. Okay, we both ordered the same thing. I couldn't resist. So we got the buffalo chicken sandwich. These fries are amazing. So good. And here's Ryan. Extra sauce. Yay. Cute. And here we have the groundhogs in their natural habitat. With their little fluffy tails. See you later. Nature never knows how beautiful it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are at the outlets, and if you didn't know, um, we have like the secret spot where we like to park. So down here is the Disney store. If you just ride around in the parking lot, underneath the Disney store is some really great covered parking. It is super busy here today. It is the week the weekend before or the week before Father's Day so it's just it's really busy um, but the uh, covered parking area it's not quite a parking garage but close enough um, was almost empty so also it is really close to the bathrooms so just a tip if you're coming to um, the Tanger outlets in Pigeon Forge that's some really good parking okay so these are $3.99 this is the one that we got. They're normally $12.95. So head over to the Disney outlet and then you can pick some up. It's like a food storage container. You get a set of two, $8.99. I like it. I really like the cactus. Oh, look, Mickey Mouse. That's exciting. I like it. I love the avocados. Donald Duck spirit jersey. Oh, probably for his birthday. Probably for his birthday. Seventy-three ninety-five. How much? Seventy-three ninety-five. Oh, it's a little bit more than usual. Yeah. So they have these little bears. It's like almost a suede right there. It says, "Remember who you are." Simba. I like it. And David and Ryan's never been into them. No, this is totally new. <laughs> I like food though, so this would be fun. Oh, frozen food? Apparently. Ooh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think this looks so good. Huh? 
seeing prices. Two for 16, three for 21, and four for 24. Sure. It's already in for me. So that is Ruby. How is it? Oh, that's really good. I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> Very fruity. By the fudgery couldn't resist yep. and we got a pecan turtle pecan turtle sure how much was it eight dollars and 21 cents all right it better be delicious but it is heavy like it's okay. got some heft to it and you can see it's, it's pretty thick oh it is yeah so <laughs> that's caramel <laughs> <laughs> let's do it okay so first how was lunch oh we have our lunch Oh, the Timberwood Grill? Yeah. That was amazing. That's like my favorite place to eat, so. It really, like it is our favorite place, especially favorite. at the island, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, it was, it was really good. I ate too much. I'm really, I'm still really full from it. Yeah. And yet we still got the. Turtle? Pecan turtle? That's what we got. The turtle yeah. pecan turtle, yeah. Yes. That's the official name for it. Honestly, it was, it was really expensive. Yeah, it was $8 and something. Oh, it's $9. For like one turtle. And it wasn't... I can't justify... It, was, it wasn't as good as the last turtle that we got from no. the other place. So we, the island in Pigeon Forge has a couple different places. It has a fudgery, and then it has another candy place that, like, makes fresh chocolates and things like that. And that's what we got last time was the place that makes, like, the fresh stuff. The fudgery, I'm sure, does it too. But the one... That we came to the outlets after we went to the island, and I don't know. It just wasn't... It wasn't as delicious as the last one. I think it was a couple dollars more than the last it one. It was. Too. I think the last one was like five something, um, which we're at the Sevierville Tanger Outlet. Yes. Um, which is surprisingly like busy. Sorry. Surprisingly <laughs> busy today, um, but it is where the, we park. Yeah, we're in the busy. secret parking spot. <laughs> and so. we're here on like the Tuesday before Father's Day, so that's probably why it's so crowded. Yeah. But I did get shorts, so... Yeah, $12 shorts at Old Navy. Thanks, Old Navy. If you want to sponsor us, that'd be great. Yeah. Hashtag ad. <laughs> but I think we're we're headed out of here. I don't know if we're going home, but... I want to know. update you. We'll figure it out. <laughs> it's always an adventure. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs>